In this lesson, I'm going to go over how you embed objects into a SchoolWires web page. Just to clarify, embedding is essentially creating a virtual window through which you can view content that exists outside of your SchoolWires web page while viewing your SchoolWires web page. I put some examples here. This is an Animoto video I've added to this sample page, a VoiceThread presentation, and a YouTube video. There are many other types of content. You could embed Twitter feeds, Facebook feeds. You could embed Google Documents, Google Forms, Google Calendars. It's a very long list of things that could be added to your SchoolWires web page. The first step in embedding anything into your web page is to find the embed code. In the case of YouTube, there is a button for the embed code directly below the main video frame. You simply click on that button. Here's the code right here. Now, it should be noted that YouTube allows some customization. You can select certain options here. You can pick the color of the video player. You can pick the size of the video. When you're doing it in school wires, I would keep it below 640. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to I've got a red color video player selected there. But all I have to do is copy that code. Now I'm going to go into my site manager and here's a handy little trick that will really help when you start working with HTML because I because I know that can be intimidating to people that are not used to working with it. Type something a message to yourself in the main editing window of your site manager like this. Put the video here. Now Below the edit window, you'll see a button that says View HTML. Click on View HTML, and the HTML screen pops up. What I want you to do next is you have to go down and find the sentence or the phrase that you typed. And I know it's pretty far down towards the bottom. Here it is. It says, put the video here. I'm going to highlight that and delete it. And then in its place, I'm going to paste what I copied just a moment ago, which was the embed code for that YouTube video. And that's it. Click OK and click Save. If I go back to my page and refresh it, I should be able to see at the bottom the video that I wanted to embed. And that's all there is to it. I hope this helps. I hope it allows you to put some wonderful and useful content on your sites.